What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I figured we would take the F30 out and do a little freaking car photography in this quarantine, make some shots happen. And this is my 2013 BMW 328i. Right now I've got the winter wheel set up on there, so don't have the flashy shoes on, but it'll do for now. So let's go ahead, grab the camera. Today I'm gonna to be shooting on my Sony a6100. I've got a 16 to 50 mil on here. It's just the kit lens with a F3.5 to 5.6. I've also got a variable ND filter on here just to make my life a little bit easier. I typically like to leave my lights on for photos, not the low beams up front, but just the angel eyes and then the tail lights because I think they look really sharp and I think it just looks much better in photos, something I've been working on trying to up my photography game. So I like this one right here, actually. Let's get the camera all set up. Lately, with my kit lens, I've been shooting 50 mil just to give myself a little bit more depth in the shot. See how that one comes out. Nice, just need to straighten it out. The car's kind of on a hill. I did try and find like on this big road, the most flat spot I could. So this is kind of where I ended up. I think it looks pretty good. Let's get some more shots. When I'm shooting for Instagram, I actually like to shoot in portrait style versus landscape. I've gone over this in a few other videos, but basically you get more vertical space on your Instagram feed by shooting in portrait style, which makes life a little bit easier. And you just get some more real estate on the Instagram feed. I'm just kind of working my way around the car, seeing what angles looks best. Um, I know the front always looks pretty mean. You get a pretty dope shot here. that. I like that one a lot. I think I might actually retake that. A little bit happier with that one. It's, it's like a pretty dead end road and for the middle of quarantine like there's a lot of traffic here. I don't know why. Always got to get that front end shot. I think that looks pretty mean. Um, just to give you guys a heads up right now I'm shooting when I'm totally at 50 mil zoomed in I'm at f5.6. I'm running an ISO of 320 and using the variable ND filter here to just fine tune. I use the ND so that way I don't have to mess with my ISO and that way I'm not losing a lot of information in the shot. Okay, I think I'm gonna cross the road here, see if I can get some other ones. I actually really like this log that's kind of broken down here. Might try and use that as some foreground. Maybe, we'll see what this looks like. Just gotta hike through a bunch of thorn bushes. That's ideal. Just gonna step on these. Okay, just doing a little hike in here. But I've been working on foreground. So this basically, I put a little bit of this into the shot. So that way it creates some depth on the photo. That way we have a foreground and the car being the subject and then the trees behind it being the background. So I'm just gonna try and grab a couple shots here. I really do want to pick up a new lens soon. I'm not really sure which one I want to get. I'd really like to get like an f2.8 85 mil, something around there. And I also, oh, the thorns are in the way. Oh, this thorn bush is like right covering my wheel. That might work better. Okay. Eh, didn't come out great. I'm not sure it was really worth trekking through all of that, but hey, that's how we learn. We just got to try stuff. Let's go ahead and show a little love to the rears, just because these LCI taillights look so good. I'm actually gonna get in the middle of the road here for a sec and get this shot. I always like getting that dead on the side and the back. I find that that looks really good. Nice, we got cars coming, so get out of the road here. Maybe try and get some from this angle. Ooh. I like that, it's like ominous looking. Some trees in the background. Hello, doing well, how are you? With these shots, I never know if I want to get the license plate in it or if I want like everything from here over. I don't know if you guys can see that, but basically if I want it there or with the plate and the BMW emblem in it, but I think cars are so loud because it just rains so the road's wet just super loud I apologize guys but um anyways back to what I was saying I never know which angle I like best so I typically take both just so that way I get a good range 
and don't be afraid to just snap a ton of pictures guys if you're using a dslr these cameras are just meant to shoot photos like it's not a film camera where you've got a certain amount of shots you can take and you got to be really kind of careful with what shots you choose you can literally just snap away so i'm taking like five or six shots every time i pull out the camera and take some here's another angle that i really love and i'm gonna get this side i think uh, for this one, it's really hard to get it at full 50 mil because obviously it's super close. So I'm actually going to bring this out to like 24 mil and kind of just drop the ND so it's not so bright. Right now I'm actually just exposing for the headlights so that way everything around is a little bit darker but the headlights are exposed correctly. And I'm just going to focus this and snap that one. It's really hard to get this one from above so I'm going to use the viewfinder yeah i like that i like that uh, angle a lot looking down on the corner of the car maybe grab a nice front end shot here whenever i'm shooting a car what i try and do obviously i know my car's angles pretty well and i know what looks good but if i'm shooting another person's car what i like to do is first just walk around the whole car figure out what is really like unique about the car so like if this was someone else's car and i was being paid to photograph it i would obviously look at a lot of the aftermarket stuff on it so i might look at the headlights they've got a film here the vinyl so i might want to try and capture that kind of going back to the shot here snap that um, if you can tell if i do my shot like i want to you can see uh, my reflection in the camera right there so I'm trying to like hide myself a little bit while still keeping the angle that I want. I think that looks pretty good there. Uh, what else? We got some mirror caps with the smoked sequential LEDs. So I think I've actually captured this same shot many a time, but we'll capture it again. Boom, just like that. Get some details in it. Um, try and find different angles that look cool. Maybe like, Nah, I don't know. Um, I did actually recently install these. If you guys didn't check out that video, I've got some blind spot mirrors, some custom ones for the F30. So I might try and get a little product shot for these guys. Just capture that there. Pretty good. And I think that wraps it up for this spot. Let's go see if we can find another cool spot to shoot some photos. Just put the camera in there. I wish I had a actual microphone or a second GoPro I could rig up to the rear so you guys could hear the exhaust while I'm driving, but we'll just have to work with what we got for the moment. So this is the interior of my car. If you haven't seen it before. And I'll just air up here, get out of this ditch. I know there was, I believe a couple spots back this way I wanna go check out, see if we can make that happen. Um, I'm gonna try and do my best to, whoa, your windows ever do that where you're like rolling it up and then it's like, nope, and it goes back down. I don't know what's going on there. I think it's the tint. I think like the film creates a little bit extra thickness and it detects like an object or an obstruction going up the window. So I'm not sure why it does that, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys have had that issue. Obviously it's, it's raining today, it's overcast. So normally I wouldn't even shoot this time of day. Right now it's 1.30 in the afternoon and that's usually pretty harsh lighting, but actually I'm gonna go straight here. Uh, because it's overcast, it, it works. It's not gonna be too overexposed a lot of the shots. So uh, either cloudy days, sunset, sunrise, or you know shady spots are typically where I like to shoot. But let's see if we can find yet another spot here. Um, exhaust wise, I don't even know if you guys can hear it, but I've got a muffler delete on Catless. I kept the stock resonator, deleted the secondary cat, and it's got a stage two 93 octane boot mode tune. What do we got here? This might be kind of cool. Yeah, this kind of looks sick. Let's maybe pull over here, get it looking all stancy. Um, so when I'm kind of framing the shot, moving the car where I want it to go. I'm thinking of how I'm like gonna shoot the photos. So right here, 
because we have this gate and everything is kind of symmetrical in the background, I'm gonna try and center myself in the middle of the gate, which you guys probably can't tell, but it'll make sense in a moment. And uh, I think it'll look pretty dope. park it. Uh, I like to leave the car on and air it up before I actually go and air it out all the way. And before I even grab the camera, I'm going to just hop out, see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, I think I actually nailed that. That looks dead center. So we go ahead and air out, which uh, I'll shut the car off. I think we'll be here for a little bit shooting some photos. Shut that off. I'm leaving the lights on. Grab the camera. And we'll use the app that I never use and honestly love to use, but just never use it to air this thing out. Wheels are straight. Let's put her down. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. All right, so with the lights on, I'm gonna go ahead and snap a few pics. Uh, again, that front angle shot, especially with the road in the background and the trees on the side with the gate and everything, I think that will look really good. So I'm actually gonna probably go all the way across the street. Ooh, we got some good mountain biking trails. Big mountain biking fan, super fun. Can't wait to get back out. Damn, that looks sick. Yes, sir. All right, so again here, I'm gonna zoom in all the way to 50 mil to get some depth from the shot. I'm going to leave my eye so where it's at. Uh, which is at 320 right now and then i'm just gonna adjust the exposure with the nd filter get the manual focus right and i like that i'm gonna darken it up a tad bit yes i like that a lot that looks dope i really hate the front plate but like it's such a headache just having an extra reason for police to pull you over so i did put it back on but man i hate the front plate it is my least favorite. All right, uh, I'm gonna take the same shot, but almost ground level, which actually, because there's an arch in the road, actually covers up my like car a bit. So I just need to find happy median here, trying to make it look like I'm all the way on the ground. That right there, just a little different perspective. But if you look at it, the actual front lip, the splitter, you can't even see because again, the road dips. So. That's not that cool. Let's try and change up our distance a bit. Got cars coming, so I'll try and take this really quick. Boom. Get out of the way of the cars here. Oh, see what I mean? Like for quarantine, there's a lot of people out. I'm just out here trying to shoot photos, but hello. Happy quarantine. Stay safe. So again, just changing up the angles here, getting some different uh, perspective on the car. I typically like to use my viewfinder instead of the screen here when I'm taking photos, but obviously, so you guys can see it, or at least hopefully can see it on the GoPro, I'm using the screen instead. All right, let's try and get some maybe foreground shots again. Let's try and uh, maybe like shoot through the trees a bit here. Which this one, I'm actually gonna use the viewfinder. Ooh, just got like a spot right in between the branches. Uh, I actually want to get lower though. Yeah, there we go. That's what's up. Psyched on that one. That one will look really cool. And now again, just gonna make like a full rotation around the car, find what looks good. We got some uh, puddles here. Actually, I like these ones might be better just cause they're a bit closer to the car, but Let's see, I'll be able to get some cool, they're murky, murky puddles. Ugh, it's like got my hand in the mud, it's nasty. Kind of wish I could get up here, this looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, I could just post up in the middle of the road wherever, this would be great. Oh my gosh, is this open? Do you just have to like, oh my gosh, I could move it. I could get the car in here, really? That's it? Oh, it's so oh it's got a lock on it yeah no that's not happening damn oh that's kind of cool though i wish that sign wasn't there 
Oh, I'm gonna get further back here. Try and get under it a bit. That looks pretty dope. Maybe try and get one through it. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think that looks too good. Keep the rotation going, or rotation. Maybe use this post instead, some foreground. We got this, uh, oops, just actually that came out pretty good. Uh, we got this rock and this post here. So again, nice foreground, but we're gonna focus perfectly on the tail light. Snap that, snap a couple more, I'm trying to get closer to the ground. Um, and I'm gonna drop my exposure a little bit to bring out the tail light a bit more. I want these to kind of have a more moody feel to them. Not so much uplifting and happy because it's raining, it's quarantine, not really having the best time, but we out here making things happen. So that's what I'm going for with today's shoot. Put that there. Yeah, just super moody, very gray. I don't know. I just needed to get out of the house, get out of this quarantine mindset and go do something productive. Like I was saying before, maybe catch some detailed shots. So like, see if I can get the raindrops on the emblem here. Like that, working on the framing. Let me get a different angle here and darken it up a little bit because we are overexposing the emblem just a hair. That looks pretty dope. Yes, sir. Never show the emblem love. Need to, need to do that more. I'm gonna just try the other side too, in case the lighting's weird. Nice, that looks sick, actually. I wanna try and get more background because right now the background just looks super blurry, which is hella nice, what I'm going for. And that emblem is just glistening. Excellent. Something else I wanted to try was maybe some interior, which isn't great, like my mats are pretty dirty right now, but I think the rest of the interior is pretty clean. So here I'm gonna bring up the exposure, uh, cause the, obviously the interior is pretty dark. I'm gonna actually open up some more doors to allow some more light in there. And I'm gonna frame the shots so that way it doesn't look like the doors are actually open. If it wasn't raining right now, I'd actually pop the sunroof too, but we're just gonna work with this. All right, so I actually need to bring my ISO up a bit because it's honestly just super dark. I'm uh, ISO 800 now. I typically, with this lens, don't like to go above 1600. It tends to lose a little bit of information. Um, yeah, there we go, that's what I want, a little bit of foreground. So I'm using the car here as some foreground. I'm taking a shot of the wheel, the steering wheel. Oh, that Wolfsguard thing is just, I wanna capture it when it's in frame. Work it, baby, work it. I'm gonna come back a little bit, readjust my manual focus. Cool. I think maybe try and grab one of the actual Wolfsguard ornament here. You guys go to the show, big shout out to you. This show's sick. Uh, it's moving a bunch, so I'm just gonna take quite a number of photos here. Uh, oh, I like that down one. It's just moving hella crazy right now. Oh my gosh, this is so challenging. But I need the light from the doors being open. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I give up on that. See, like, it's all trial and error, guys. I'm just trying to figure it out. Shut these doors so all my gear, the car doesn't get rained on. Uh, oh, another one that I never show love on. And because I honestly don't know how to photograph it, but I think if I like, yeah, maybe if I get like right on the side, you can't really even tell that the panel is open on the gas cap. You might just be able to see the gas cap. I don't know. It could look cool. Maybe not. I'm gonna try it anyways. Cause that's what we're, that's what we're doing out here. Um, right there. You're actually I need to back up. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just trying different things. Maybe get a close up on it. 
Um, maybe if I get like the tail light, so that way we get red on red or something. I don't know. That could look cool. I keep saying, I don't know. I'm just out here doing it. Like I don't need a reason. Yeah, all right, well, it is what it is. We tried. And I think one other shot I wanna try and get is a little bit more up and over the front of the car. So it's again gonna be that shot looking straight at the car, but I wanna get it up higher. So I'm gonna get the distance I want away right there. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's a little dark, I mean, it's a little light. Snap, yes. I'm just gonna get a couple different angles here. Actually, one more. Another thing um, in these photos, you can tell that my angel eyes are always fully lit. So that has to do with your shutter. If your shutter is not at the right setting, then it's gonna, because it's an LED, it actually pulsates and flashes. So you're gonna get that flicker and like, it'll look like your car is winking at you. So just play with your shutter. Uh, right now, I my settings are F5.6, ISO 800, one over 50. So just what I'm working with, maybe get that rainy elevated media banner, guys, head to the website if you want one. Boom. Boom, work it, work it. Yes, cool. Maybe go try and find one more cool location. See if you can find something sick. Ooh, ooh, that GTS startup roar. Yo, my hands are so cold. It's 46 degrees out, but there's rain and like the cloudiness and lack of sunlight just makes stuff so chilly. I've been meaning to shoot here because the road is closed. And basically what had happened was over time, this road just flooded over with water because it's got a swamp on either side. And I don't know, water just eventually became too much for them to deal with. So they closed the road altogether. How sick. So the road is closed, but they left enough room. I can squeeze in here. I'm not sure why they did that. Why wouldn't they have it shut down? But either way, this will work. Uh, just a nice straight road. So I can put the car in the middle of the road without having to worry about like people coming by. Um, there's also, well, I'll just drive down and show you guys what the water situation is. Oh my gosh, this is, yeah, no wonder they closed it. Here, I'll hop out real quick and just show you what this looks like. So like I was saying, you got pond, pond, and they just finally couldn't keep up with the water and it just basically overflows from this side into this side. So now this road is inaccessible, well, for the most part. I think what I'd like to do, it would look sick if I can get the car, oh my gosh, if I could put the car in the middle of the water, we can get some nasty reflection shots. Might have to just back it in. I'm not even sure. I think I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it real quick. Uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna go back just a hair more. And that should be good. We can air out when we get out there. Oh my gosh. This is legit like an inch of water. Okay. Try not to get the vans dirty. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's so wet. It's so wet. And honestly, I wish I backed up more. Um, damn. I'm going to work with it. I'm just going to work with it. Let's air out real quick. can't air out all the way for sure because there's like hella angle on this road and I'm right in the middle so we'll see see what we can do the back can pretty much go down all the way front ah, front can go down almost all the way yeah that looks pretty sick okay cool shoot some more photos um definitely hella exposed with all this light I mean with all this water and reflection and stuff Okay. Yeah. I just wish like, I don't know. I wish it was more level so the water was like a little bit easier to capture, but this will work, I suppose. Oh, I hate that front plate so much. Why? Why must we have those? They should honestly, like just create some sort of like sensor so that way a cop you don't even need plates like a cop can just like 
scan your car as you drive by or something. And it'll tell you if it's registered, insured, and if you have a warrant out for your arrest, like all that stuff. Get rid of these stupid plates. This is so unnecessary. <laughs> Let's see if we can, I really want to get that shot here. Oh my gosh, I'm should have been in the water right now. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I thought this spot might be cooler. I think the water could have been sick. Maybe if I backed up like a lot more, but I didn't bring rain boots to walk in. So what I might do is actually bring the car up here where it's a little more flat and then just get some more shots. I want to get the back end of the car because I've really only shot, well, I've shot a lot of the front end and I'm really happy with the front. Oh my gosh, dude. Guys, I'm stupid. Why did I do this? Oh my, oh my gosh, trying not to get my shoes soaked. Well, we came, we saw, we conquered. Let's get one more little spot here. See, that looks sick to me. I love just like the centered car aired out where it's like in the middle of the road, not where it's supposed to be. I think it looks so sick. I'm actually gonna get really far back because again, I'm I'm using the, uh, this thing fully zoomed in at 50 mil. I don't know. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's moody. It's moody as hell. I kinda want just the side. Something else to think about too when you're taking your photos is when you size them appropriately for Instagram, nine by 16, five by four, you actually wanna give yourself a little bit extra. So if I wanna capture this shot without the license plate, I will ever so slightly get the license plate in the shot because when I crop it, it's gonna get tilted and just adjusted a wee bit. So I wanna give myself a little bit of that flexibility. Yeah, I'm happy with these. I think that was a good whole little adventure today. Really happy with how the shots came out actually, uh, just for getting out real quick in the middle of rain, clouds, quarantine, just trying to make the best of it. So I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys want to see, what your thoughts are on this video. Do you want to see more of these videos, the first person point of view type stuff? And uh, hope you enjoyed the photography. Really enjoyed getting out here and shooting photos. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Deuces, keep elevating, and peace out.